Hey, it's good Wednesday morning, YouTube. Uh, today's video, we're going to try to rewire some of this uh, mess because I've added a few things to my solar system, like a couple of uh, Victron pieces, and build another rack outside so I get uh, better input instead of all those separate stands. But I'll show you all that in a bit, but here we go. Okay, folks, we got the inside pretty well done, and it's a good thing because it's getting pretty hot up here. But uh, there's our batteries. We moved our uh, PV box and our charge controller down here, added a piece of plywood, and shortened up our cables coming in a little bit. They actually shortened this cable to this charge controller in up a little bit and I changed charge controllers I had this 50 amp which don't get me wrong it's a it's a good controller for the price from Vivor but when you're in a dark spot where I am at and you gotta squeeze as much as you can out this thing is pretty impressive I got the 70 amper and I'm gonna end up with 2000 uh, watts of panels out there so this should uh, this should work fine for me and I bought the servo controller so I can watch watch everything over the internet plus you can tie everything else in I got the new shunt that ties in also and I ran I just had a cat six line flapped over here but I actually ran a hard wire back to my uh, my patch panel and my network switch so now we can just disconnect it locally if we want and it looks a lot better it's not just flopping all over but this stuff was driving me nuts because i was adding a piece of the time and i said well you know i got to get up and clean that up but, uh so good so far and i think it's really going to work out nice i'll show you the upgrade to the array i did out there so uh we'll be back in a few seconds Okay, we're outside, and this is the upgrade to the solar array I did. If you watched the earlier video, you see I had those individual brackets up there, and what I didn't realize, learned on me, <laughs> is that when I adjusted the ones above the other ones, they were throwing shadows. And that was just killing me. I wasn't getting enough power in there. So what I did is I built a... Uh, a treated rack with legs actually I just put that extension on because I wanted to get that last panel off of there and here but I'm on I ordered one more panel so I'm gonna have 2,000 watts of solar here and underneath I lashed it to the garage and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close off that end this end close partially off this and I'm gonna have a little storage shed out here so it's gonna be a two-fold type of uh, building and to keep the rain off I'm going to take some of those Lowe's 12 foot under deck panels and screw them up under here so it'll still be it'll be dry storage over here under here so I can get some gas cans and stuff out of the garage and just chain them up to one of those so the scumbags around here don't take them <laughs> but uh, I'll take you inside and I'll give you a final uh, explanation of how this is working all right we'll close this thing out here uh what we're actually powering is our heat system in the winter and my air conditioner in here in the summer i just plug it into the inverter powered outlets got our refrigerator our microwave all our lights and our upstairs lights plus as i mentioned in the other video i got a a circuit run all the way across the yard underground into my building or my uh, house and that actually powers up my boiler and all my heat controls in there now so I can run all my heat in my house and garage off of this solar setup and with the panel set up and that new controller, I'm getting upwards of 17, 1800 watts some days in full sun. So the batteries were getting down to sometimes 5, 
and then switch back over to uh, utility power, which I didn't want. Plus, I didn't like running the batteries down that far. I only got three batteries. But now it gets down to maybe 75, 76, and it bounces right back the next day. So it'll make my batteries last a lot longer, uh, and I think we're going to be happy with it. The next time, if that uh, inverter unit fails upstairs, since v doesn't have them anymore, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get that Victron, and it'll tie right into that uh, online stuff, and I get a better idea what it's doing. It costs more money, but it's got a really good warranty on it, and I see nothing bad with any of that stuff. So, have a good day, YouTube.